द लास्ट ऑपरेशन इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑपरेशन इन द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑपरेशन देर आर टू टाइप्स वन इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए ग्राफ एंड सेकेंड वन इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए सब ग्राफ ओके फर्स्ट वी गो फॉर कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए ग्राफ we already know that every simple graph of order n is a subgraph of complete graph kn okay so this is already known important point in the previous videos okay now we go for how to find out the complement of a given graph okay so i am explaining with one example okay so now first of all we are taking a graph g okay so how many number of vertices are there in the given graph a b c d okay four vertices are there in the given graph g okay with the four vertices we have to construct the complete graph with four vertices that is k4 okay so this is the complete graph with the four vertices that is a k4 okay now observe this graph and this graph this is the complete graph with four vertices this is the given graph with the four vertices okay this graph is a subgraph of complete graph k4 okay so this is a simple graph because it does not contain any self loops at each and every vertex it does not contain any parallel edges between the uh, vertices between the vertices okay hence we can say that this is a simple graph okay this simple graph is a subgraph of complete graph k4 because all the vertices in graph g should be there in complete graph k4 here a here a is there here b here b is there here c here c is there here d here d also is there okay all the edges present in graph g is also there in complete graph k4 a b here a b is also there a c a c is also there b d b d is also there all the vertices and all the edges present in graph g should be there in complete graph k4 or not if it is there hence we can say that graph g is a subgraph of complete graph k4 okay so all the vertices and all the edges present in graph g is also there in complete graph k4 hence we can say that graph g is called as a subgraph of complete graph k4 okay now now we have to find out the complement of this graph okay how we are finding out the complement of this graph whatever the edges present in graph g or removed from complete graph k4 whatever the remaining edges present in uh, k4 after deleting the edges present in g so then these are the remaining edges in k4 then this graph is called as the complete graph of g complete graph of g it is denoted by g bar g bar is nothing but complement of graph g okay so this is the uh, this is the given graph and this is the complemented graph so once again i am telling please observe carefully okay so this is the given graph this graph contains how many number of vertices a b c d that is the four vertices okay so this graph is a simple graph because it does not contain any self loop at each and every vertex at vertex a there is no self loop 
at vertex b there is no self loop at vertex c there is no self loop at vertex d there is no self loop and there are no parallel edges between the vertices okay so we can take any pair of vertices more than one edge is not connected okay so hence we can say that graph g is a simple graph with the four vertices okay now with the four vertices we already know that complete graph k4 so this is the complete graph with the four vertices so complete graph means we can take any pair of vertices that pair of vertices are connected by using a uh, direct edge okay so a and c we are taking these are connected by edge a and d these are connected by using edge a and b these are connected by using edge b and c we are connected by using edge we can take any pair of vertices that pair of vertices are connected by using only one edge okay so ab one edge bc one edge ac one edge ab one edge so this is the complete graph with the four vertices now we have to verify that given graph g is a subgraph of complete graph k4 or not okay so to become this graph g is a subgraph of complete graph k4 okay all the vertices and all the edges present in graph g should be there in complete graph k4 we have to verify that all the vertices a b c d four vertices are there these four vertices should be there in complete graph k4 a b c d yes edges a b it is there a b okay a c it is also there a c b d it is also there all the vertices and all the edges present in graph g with the end vertices okay should be there in complete graph k4 hence we can say that graph g is called a subgraph of complete graph k4 okay so once we we have to confirm that this is a subgraph of complete graph k4 now we have to find out the complement of this graph okay so complement of this graph g is denoted by g bar g bar is obtained okay obtained by eliminating whatever the edges present in g is removed from the complete graph kn okay for example ab edge is there this edge can be eliminated from the complete graph k4 we are eliminating this edge next ac this edge can be eliminated from the complete graph k4 next one bd this edge can be eliminated from the complete graph k4 okay next what are the remaining edges present in k4 okay ad we have to write ad next is dc we have to write dc next bc we have to write bc okay so the remaining edges present in k4 after eliminating the edges present in g okay so the whatever the graph we are obtaining this graph is called as the complemented graph of g so this is the g bar is the complement of g okay i hope all of you understand this example so here g bar can be written as kn minus g kn means complete graph with the four vertices minus g whatever the edges present in g that can be removed from the complete graph kn okay then we are getting the uh, complemented graph g that is the g bar okay next one see that uh, every point every simple graph of order n is a subgraph of the complete graph kn we already know that point okay next if g is a simple graph of order n 
G is a simple graph of order n means n is nothing but number of vertices that is 4. Then the complement of G in Kn, the complement of G can be denoted by G bar. Okay, it can be obtained by deleting those edges of Kn which belongs to G. Whatever the edges that belongs to G that can be removed from the complete graph Kn, then we are getting the uh, complemented graph G bar of G. So, this is the formula. Okay, next. Next, we go for a complement of a subgraph. Okay, so now this is the given graph. This graph contains how many number of vertices? A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so six vertices are there. Okay, so this is a simple graph because it does not contain any self loops at each and every vertex. Vertex A does not contain any self loop. Vertex B does not contain any self loop. Vertex C, D, E, F does not contain any self loops. Next one, we can take any pair of vertices. That pair of vertices are connected by using more than one edge. That means parallel edges. Parallel edges are not there in the given graph. Hence, we can say that the given graph is a simple graph with six vertices. Okay. For this graph, we have to uh, draw the subgraph. Okay. Subgraphs are uh, drawn many ways. Okay. We can take only one subgraph. So, this is one subgraph. Okay. To become this graph is a subgraph of this graph. What are the conditions we have to check? All the vertices present in subgraph, all the vertices present in this graph should be there in this graph. Okay, here A is there, here also A is there, here B is there, here also B is there, here D is there, here also D is there, here C is there, here also C is there, here E is there, here also E is there. All the vertices present in this graph should be there in graph G. Okay, here five vertices are there. These five vertices should be there in graph G. Next one, edges. All the edges present in this graph should be there in graph G. So A, B, here A, B is there. A, C, here A, C is there. B, D, here B, D is there. Here D, E, here D, E is there. C, E, here C, E is there. Okay, all the vertices and all the edges with the end vertices in graph, in this graph, should be there in this graph. Hence, we can say that this graph is a subgraph of this one. Okay, this is the graph G and this is the subgraph of G. To become this graph, subgraph, to become this graph as a subgraph, it should satisfy two conditions. All the vertices present in this graph should be there in main graph G. All the edges with the end vertices in, in this graph should be there in this main graph G. Hence, we can say that this graph is a subgraph of G. Okay. Now, for this graph, this is a G1 graph. This is graph G. This is a G1. G1 is a subgraph of G. Because all the vertices and all the edges present in G1 should be there in G. Hence, we can say that G1 is a subgraph of G. Now, we have to find out the complement of subgraph G1. The complement of subgraph G1 can be obtained by eliminating whatever the uh, edges present in this graph that can be eliminated from the original graph G. Okay. So, C to E H. It is there. So, C to H is eliminated. Next one. A to C H is there. A to C H is eliminated. Next, D to E H. D to E H is eliminated. Next one, B to D H. B to D H is eliminated. A to B vertex, H. A to B is eliminated. 
वॉट एवर द रेमेनिंग रेमेनिंग एडजस्ट प्रेजेंट इन जी बिकम्स द बिकम्स द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ दिस ग्राफ ओके वॉट आर द रिमेनिंग एडजस्ट सो ए टू यस ए टू इज देर ई टू एफ ई टू एफ इज देर डी टू एफ डी टू एफ इज देर बी टू एफ बी टू एफ इज देर सी टू बी सी टू बी इज देर ओके सो दिस इट बिकम्स द सबग्राफ ऑफ इट बिकम्स द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ सबग्राफ ऑफ जीवन ओके कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ सबग्राफ ऑफ जीवन ओके फॉर दिस ग्राफ दिस इज द सबग्राफ For this subgraph, we have to find out the complement. For this uh, graph, for this uh, subgraph G one, the complement G one bar is obtained by eliminating whatever the edges present in G one that are eliminated from the original graph G. Then, whatever the resultant graph. obtain that resultant graph is called as g1 bar resultant graph contains the remaining remaining edges after eliminating these edges present in subgraph g1 okay so this is the complement of subgraph g1 of g okay so this is now we go for the definition given a graph g this is a graph g And subgraph of G1 of G. So this is the subgraph G1 of G. The subgraph G1 obtained by deleting all the edges belongs to G1. By deleting all the edges belongs to G1. In G, okay, is called as the complement of G1. The complement of G1. Okay. So these are the uh, six operations performed on the graphs. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Devela Srinivas Rao. Thank you.